Hey guys, how are you? David here from TechSocial.com and DDeFranco.com. Finally, with the Google CR48 Notebook Q&A video. Guys, I apologize for taking so freaking long, but it's finally here and that's all that matters. And of course, right here, guys, I have all of your comments. As always, thank you so much. This is probably a record for me. I got 80 comments, uh, but obviously I cannot answer them all in this one video. That, that will take forever. So I picked maybe like the 15 to 18 best questions I can think of. And Shane is near the tripod. One second. Also guys, real quick, I gotta mention this. The Google CR48 notebook, which is right here obviously, is simply a test unit. This is something you will never see in stores, unless somebody stole it and is trying to sell it. <laughs> I highly doubt it's gonna happen. But my main point is guys, this is a test unit. This is something you will most likely never touch or see in person. Uh, this is merely for software reasons. This hardware will never even be seen by the general public. So, I just had to put that um, out there because this video is mainly about the software, not the hardware, because we will be seeing actual Chrome OS um, notebooks, I believe, starting this summer, which should be pretty cool. Anyway, guys, let's get on to your questions. Question number one comes from Aidan or Aiden. It's probably Aiden. And they say, hi, David, my question is, which computer runs smoother? The MacBook Pro or the CR48 notebook also, which one is better for schoolwork? All right, let's do one at a time. Which one's smoother? Definitely the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro is practically a desktop replacement, but for on the go. Google CR48 notebook is more of a web application notebook, so definitely the MacBook Pro. And which one's better for schoolwork? Again, definitely the MacBook Pro. You guys will hear me say that a lot in this video. Um, I'm not dissing the CR48 in no way. It's a great notebook for its purposes which I'll get more into um, in a few minutes. Next question comes from Dylan, and he says, Hey David, how are you supposed to use applications on the notebook, such as video editing software or any other specialty applications like that? Also, how is the data on the notebook stored? Is there a hard drive or is it just saved to a network drive? All right, first of all, the applications, just like I mentioned probably like 30 seconds ago, are not real applications. If you think about the iPhone back when it launched, Apple released web apps and they tried to sell the idea of that we don't need real apps because web apps are so powerful. Well, that was, you know what, that wasn't true at all. Web apps suck, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, hold on. Web apps on the iPhone practically suck. But web apps on here, which is, which is the only kind of apps you will use on here because you cannot install anything uh, real. Um, the web apps on here are pretty good. The best thing to do is go, go to the Google Web Store, or whatever they call it, and search, search the apps there. But keep in mind, they are not anything powerful. There are simple games such as Plants vs. Zombies, simple word processing apps. They're nothing powerful like, you know, World of Warcraft or the iLife Suite or anything like that. Obviously, that's an Apple exclusive. But you get my point. They're web apps and nothing more. And the second question was, how do you store your data? Yes, correct, there is no hard drive in, in here. It's technically a solid state drive. Um, I don't know the exact capacity because I don't think Google reveals that kind of information. Because again, it doesn't matter. This testing is not about the hardware, it's about the software. This is merely a test unit. Hence, why there's no branding literally whatsoever. But in terms of storage, um, I'm assuming you can only store your data in the cloud. Now, I'm a big fan of cloud computing. I, I think it's awesome. Um, so when I say the cloud, I'm talking about like say, say you're storing your documents on Google Docs. And yes, that's Jasmine that making noise in the background. Um, you would store your document on here. Say I was typing up a presentation or whatever. Then I could access it from my Mac going to Google Docs via Safari or Chrome or Firefox or whatever browser you, you prefer. So basically your data is in the cloud and that is the best method so far. But there is a um, USB port on the side, which I will talk about in a few minutes. All right, I'm already going pretty slow here, so let me speed this up. Next question comes from Gerob, and they say, I am curious as to your comment regarding it needing to be online for the OS to work. Does this mean it won't do anything if it's offline? How useful is this practice? Um, if a student needs it for work while doing a long bus ride or plane ride, would it be useful? No, it would not be useful if you're not online because this is an online exclusive notebook but don't freak out the awesome thing about the Google CR48 notebook is it's kind of like a phone it has awesome Wi-Fi uh, options but this also has Verizon 3G built in 
Now, I never fully activated it because I didn't want to be charged $15, $30 a month, whatever it was, for a notebook I don't really use that much, to be honest, because I have my iPad too. Uh, but at least you do have the option of 3G. So this is great if you want to, you know, type a spreadsheet or something or a Word document, blogging, anything outside of the house, but you don't really feel like typing on the iPad because, well, let's face it, the on-screen iPad keyboard is great, but it's not great for long-term usage. This is better for long-term usage because it's a physical keyboard. So if you really wanted to do things on the go, you would activate your Verizon 3G plan. But I should say that they give you a trial on here. Uh, it's probably for testing purposes only for you know people such as myself. But from what I saw, the testing was fine and speeds were pretty fast. Next question comes from Kyle. He says, hey David, or she, I've actually known a Kyle that's a female, so he or she says, Hey David, do you believe the Google OS will ever take over the notebook market like iOS and Android did with the smartphone? Will we finally see the demise of the Windows operating system or will this just be another version of Linux? No, definitely not. Um, at least not, not, not for years to come. We need desktop processing power, at least I know I do. We need real apps, we need a real desktop experience. This is not that, this is simply a web browser kind of on steroids. Uh, while it's great for this type of product and for this type of like you know niche user, this is definitely not a widespread product that I see taking over in like a couple of years because let's face it, Macs and PCs are much, much more powerful than this will be for years to come. Next question comes from David Bozovic and he says, Hey David. Hello David. I know you didn't um, want any hardware related questions, but I thought this one might be worth asking. Here's my question. What are the side inputs on the CR48, such as USB, Ethernet, optical drive, etc.? And is the lack of any of these inputs, if any, worth considering when buying the CR48? Alright, thank you David for the question. First of all, you cannot buy the CR48. Again, this is simply a test unit. Um, future Chrome OS notebooks might have an optical drive, might have extra USB ports. That stuff we really don't know yet as consumers, we'll, we'll just have to wait until these companies release actual official cr Chrome OS notebooks. But, for now, this has, let me zoom up here, let me get a scary close-up shot. This has the power jack right here, the power port. A USB port for viewing movies and videos, which does work fine. Um, your standard 3.5mm uh, audio jack. And this is an SD slot. Put your fingernail in there. You can put an SD card in there to read media, which does work great. It's not the fastest media reader because I've tried to play um, an HD video in here and it does lag. But that's because they put cheap parts in here just, just for te uh, testing purposes. But it does, it does work as an okay media reading device. And on the flip side here, we have a VGA port for outputting a video. And this doesn't really count as a port, but that is a fan output. Um, and that's basically it. Oh, and on the bottom we have the huge battery compartment. And I apologize for the birds in the background. It's getting nice outside, so... Hey, who doesn't like a good bird chirping, right? Twitter for the win. When I think of Twitter, I think of birds. When I think of birds, I think, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for your question, David. All right, next question comes from Nomad MTB, also known as Kyle. What's up, Kyle? He follows me on Twitter and YouTube and everything. Cool guy. Jasmine, stop making noise, yo. Making a video. Now that clock's... Seriously, guys, so many noises. Okay. Hey David, after using a CR48, what do you think an appropriate price would be for a netbook like this? What amount should Google sell it for? Very good question. Now, I don't believe Google... Well, okay, I could, I could be wrong. I don't, I don't think Google has the right to sell the CR40, I mean the Google Chrome OS notebooks for a certain price. That's up to the hardware manufacturers. Now, iCal's freaking out. I have a Skype call in an hour. That's all. I got plenty of time. Okay, so, in my opinion, I think, well, okay, let's think of the iPad. You you can get an iPad 1 for as low as $400, which is nothing for that. And the iPad 2 starts at $500. So for notebooks such as this, for web browsing only and web applications and Google Docs and everything, and OK Media Browsing, uh, OK Media Browsing, I say it's worth about $200. Maybe 200 250 which I think is a fair price considering what it does and how it works. So that's my prediction. So I, okay, so I say expect to see Chrome OS notebooks this summer between 200 and 300 dollars, and anything more than that, I say you might as well just buy an iPad, honestly. So thank you, Kyle, for that question. Next question comes from Sean Hefferman. 
Hef Hefernin. Sorry, not Hefferman. Hefernin. <laughs> um, I'm horrible with people's names, and I apologize. What do you think of a student using this like in college? I know that it's a cloud-based OS. People have said it's very slow. Is it still usable, though? I would primarily use it for making documents, such PowerPoints, Google Docs. Are there many other uses for it, like apps and games? I answered this early in the video, but this is more of a precise question. And I have to say, this is definitely great for college. Um, if I had this notebook in, in college, I would definitely have taken it to class with me. Because, like I said, it's much easier to type on this than it is to type on the iPad, such, such as, you know, I mean, like a touchscreen device. It's so much easier to type on this. And this has a uh, more of a... This isn't a desktop, but this definitely has a more of a desktop feel to it because it looks just like the Chrome browser that we're already used to. So yes, to put my answers um, shortly and simply, yes, the CR48 notebook and future Chrome OS notebooks are definitely great for college. Next question comes from John Chorley, and he says, can you modify system files and install extra applications like you do with a normal Mac slash PC? PC slash Mac. Either way, it doesn't matter. John, excellent question. You probably can modify system files by hacking it, but in terms of general use, no, you cannot. You can change certain settings, like, you know, the date and the time and your login picture and everything like that. But um, other than that, nothing really. And as far as installing extra applications, I talked about this earlier, but not real applications, but web apps, which are better than nothing, let's just be honest. Next question comes from Tom, and he asks, does it have cup holders? I don't think so. No, it does not have cup holders. All right, this next question comes from Andrew Fishburn, and this actually requires a visual demo, so hopefully it'll, this will make this video a little more interesting. And he says, how long does it take to boot up? Boot up time is one of my favorite things about the CR48 notebook, and, and I imagine it's gonna get even faster with the new Chrome OS notebooks, because again, Google just put cheap hardware in here just, just to, you know, give it to people for free, that way they wouldn't lose much money. But considering the cheap components in here, boot up time is pretty fast. And by the way, when I open this, you're gonna see a small scratch, I feel horrible. But I was flying my um, little chopper I have here, and I kind of scratched the screen while Jesse was over. I know, I feel horrible, but it still works just fine. Anyway, as soon as I open this up, it's gonna boot. It's just how it works, when you open it up, it boots. Three, two, one. So, starting now. Bam! And you're in. That's the login screen. By the way, in case you're wondering what the login screen looks like, here you go. It's just me and Jasmine. Uh, that's just a sample picture I took with, with the um, on, on bird webcam, which I will talk about in a second. Anyway, let me shut this down. And... Shutdown process is also within like seconds, guys. I love it. The boot up process is maybe like 10 seconds. It's insanely fast. It's faster than my iPad 2, which makes you wonder, why doesn't the iPad 2 boot up faster? Although the iPad 2 does more than this, technically, so I guess that answers my own question. Anyway, thank you for your answer, uh, your question, Andrew. Aiden Goodwin. Um, you can find him at Aiden Fry on Twitter. You see right there the at reply sign right there in the middle. If you want to follow him, go ahead. And his, his question is, does it support Flash slash HTML5? Yes, it does. But again, I have to reiterate, because of the cheap hardware components Google put in here, it does not read Flash or HTML5 that well. But it definitely reads it. So I, I expect official Chrome OS notebooks to run it perfectly fine. Because I really don't see why not. Wow, I'm going to butcher your name and I apologize. It's Hoho Sakara. I'm really sorry about that. They say, hello, my main concern about Chrome OS is keeping track of your files. I mean, since it stores all the information on the web, each application will store its own files, so we will lose the organization of, organization of file systems. Can you give your opinion about this subject? Congratulations for your work and keep doing it well. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Without your support, I wouldn't be doing this video right now, so it's win-win. So thank you, basically. Anyway, great question. I kind of covered this before, but there's no real file management system on board on the system itself. I mean, you can view media files when you plug in a USB stick or whatever. You'll see a little pop-up notification in the bottom right. But other than that, there's no onboard memory for your personal files. Again, everything's in the cloud. 
<clears throat> and that just might be the future of computing, you know, cloud. I really like the whole cloud thing, guys. I'm just saying it's great for devices like this, not for everything. But hopefully that answers your question. Next question comes from James Doling, and they say, Hey David, aside from using professional applications like photo editing, etc., would you rather use your Mac or the Google CR48 for, for, for just simple web surfing? That's a good question. I really, really like this as a web surfing notebook. It's so light, it's so small, and it just feels great in the hands too. It's really, really not that heavy. I know, I already said it's light. I'm kind of repeating myself. But yes, this is a great, great web surfing application. Um, yeah, application, notebook. You can hear that. It's kind of cheap feeling right there. But in terms of a web surfing notebook, it's awesome. I love it. Next question comes from Kyle Talabok. Talabok. Sorry if I'm saying your name right. Uh, wrong. Again, guys, I'm horrible with that. How would you rate the onboard webcam on the CR48? It's pretty bad, guys. It's horrible. It's pretty, pretty bad. Again, they just put a simple test uh, webcam here. Opening it the wrong way. Noob. If you look up there, it's a very tiny webcam. Uh, just because it's small doesn't mean it's going to look like crap. But it is, it is a pretty crappy, uh, yeah, crappy webcam. Crazy wabbit. Um, but again, this is just for testing purposes. Again, guys, I'm going to repeat myself. Expect much better webcam usage when we actually see official Chrome notebooks in the summer. Next question comes from Crisis LTU. And they say, hey, David, how's the Wi-Fi on this notebook? Is the range okay? Actually, yes, I have had no problems whatsoever with the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi range seems great, Wi-Fi speeds seem awesome, Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi, and, well, it's great. Which brings me to my next question. <clears throat> Hello, David. First of all, this is from AV, Av, Av James. Hi, David. Number one, has the web-based Chrome OS ever frozen on you? Any crashes? Actually, no, it is not. It's actually pretty stable, considering the kind of beta stage it's in. And number two, also a quick hardware question. For the design of the notebook, what would you give it a rating out of 10? For the overall design, I give it about an 8. Um, in terms of the design, it looks great, but if you want to factor in hardware with, the, with design, I, I gotta say the screen is pretty bad, the viewing angle sucks, but again guys, they put cheap parts in here for a reason. Uh, but overall, I'd probably give it an 8. Oh, I really gotta say guys, the keyboard is downright awesome. This looks just like a black MacBook. It has the chiclet style keys and a one button trackpad, which is great. Oh, and by the way, you use two two fingers for scrolling, which works pretty nicely. All right, I have to keep shutting this down. I keep starting it up. This it's just a feature when when you open the notebook, it actually starts up for you. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind. Just a side note. And yes, that's it for Ab's questions, so thank you very much. Next question comes from, does it have USB ports? If it does, does it work with mice and or keyboards? And that question comes from Ben Grogan. It has one USB port, and yes, it works just fine with mice and keyboards. Jamie asks, hi David, what do you think of the interface of the Chrome OS, and would you consider switching from Apple to Chrome OS laptop when they are released? The interface is great, it's exactly what you would expect, it's exactly, and I mean exactly, like the Chrome web browser that we all love and use. It looks exactly like it, guys, uh, but would I ever switch to it from an Apple notebook? Definitely not. Again, I gotta stress this, this is great for what it is, but for someone like me who does graphic design and, and video editing, this is far, far from what I need. And that is that. It's kind of tradition for me to throw my papers, but now I feel like an idiot because there were like 20 sheets there. Now I have to pick them up. They're all behind my desk. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this CR48 notebook overview video. I feel this is better than an official review because I feel it's unfair to review the CR48 notebook because this is not a product you guys will ever use. It's all about the software. This hardware, again, you probably will never even touch it. And if I'm wrong and you had the pleasure of actually using a CR48 notebook, let me know. Maybe you can post your C CR48 notebook uh, video as a video response to this video below. And of course, as always, if I did not answer your question, I apologize because I had a lot of questions and there's no way I could talk that long. 
Actually, there is, but I'd probably bore the crap out of you guys. And, well, you guys know me, I love talking, and this video is probably, like, 15 minutes long as it is. But, as always, if you guys had any questions that I did not answer, and you really, really want an answer, just post them in the comments below. I'll answer them. Maybe somebody else will answer them That's that, that we're lucky enough to get their hands on the CR-48. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to Google for sending this to me. I, I will be honored to review another Google uh, Chrome OS product in, in the future if you guys are watching. But anyway, just a shout out to Google because I really did it. I really did enjoy this product overall. It's great. And I will definitely continue to use it over time. And now I am done, guys. Check out my Twitter and Facebook below the video. Expect a new room tour very soon. Yes, you heard it here first. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. I hear that's offensive to people. I'm sorry. It means peace in the U.S., I swear.